Hello and welcome back to She Walks, She Paints. Thanks for joining me for another episode and another walk. Today we've come to a place called Dollar Glen, which is basically a valley, that's the Scots word for valley, and we're going to be walking up. So there's going to be lots more steps again today. I haven't put that many layers on, so I'm feeling a bit chilly at the moment, but we know I'll warm up as soon as I start going uphill. So, hey Jack, you gonna go? Yeah, let's head out and see what we can find. You're not Jack. You seem to have acquired a different dog. Dollar Glen is a site of special scientific interest because of its geology and the variety of plant and animal life here. I love the smell of the plants after it has rained, it's so fresh and clean. Paddling in the stream. Yes. This more wild garlic. And the flowers are starting to come out as well. Beautiful. These unfilled shoots are known as fiddleheads, as they resemble the curled scrolls which decorate violins or fiddles. Many varieties are edible and can be foraged at this time of year.
So it's just started to rain a bit again, which is fine, we're prepared. Um, we're a bit sheltered by the woods at the moment, so that's okay. And the smell is amazing, it just brings out all the smell of the plants and it smells really fresh and clean. It's lovely. I say that now. Hopefully it doesn't continue too long. <laughs> No, don't go in the pond. That looks very muddy. Don't do it. The stone fortress is Castle Campbell, which dates back to the early 1400s. It originally belonged to the Stuart family, and was known then as Castle Gloom. This atmospheric name may seem very apt today, although it was probably derived from an old Gallic word, meaning chasm, due to the castle's location at the top of the glen. Through marriage, the castle passed to the Earls of Argyll, and the name was changed to Castle Campbell by an Act of Parliament in 1489. It was the main lowland seat for the Campbell family for nearly 200 years, due to its proximity to the royal court in nearby Stirling. This magnificent sycamore tree is known as the Maiden Tree, from a legend that tells of a princess who is imprisoned in the castle after falling in love with a low-born man. In 1954, it was burnt down in retaliation for the Earl of Argyll's support for Oliver Cromwell in the English Civil War, and with the execution of the Earl in 1661 for high treason, the castle's days as a noble residence were over.
I was just walking up this path by the side of the castle and that caught my eye. I think it says danger embedded into the path. Danger. Hopefully we're not in danger right now. Hey pups. Here we are at Castle Campbell, or Castle Gloom as it used to be called. We did get a brief moment of sunshine at the top, which is nice, but the rain is coming back again now, so still got the waterproof on. We're gonna head back down the glen and see if we can find some more things to photograph. It's just coming alive at the moment with spring. It's so beautiful and the rain is helping that, so Scotland wouldn't be as green if it didn't rain so much. <laughs> I think we get some more views of the castle from the other side, so that'll be nice. And then we'll finish our walk. Who's this good boy? You ready to go? Okay, let's go. Thank you. 
ones. No Jack. Tennis ball conjurer strikes again. It's so fairy. I love when the fern shoots start to unfurl at this time of year. They look like strange and beautiful alien life forms emerging from the ground. Ferns are one of the oldest groups of plants on Earth. Their ancestors first appeared over 300 million years ago. They really give the landscape a primeval feel. From here you can see the amazing defensive position of the castle, sitting on the bastion of rock above two sheer ravines. The streams running down each side are evocatively named the Burn of Care and the Burn of Sorrow. They meet below the castle and run through the village below. So that's it, we've reached the bottom of the glen now. So we've been right to the top and got back to the bottom. And now we have to walk back up a bit to get to the car. Such a beautiful place to walk. I love this glen, it's, it's really magical here. I say that a lot about Scotland, don't I? But it's true. <laughs> so much greenery, everything growing in the spring and all the bird song as well. So it's just a really lovely escape. And of course there's a castle as well. And I love castles, so pretty much the perfect walk. <laughs> I think I'll probably be taking those new fern growths to the studio because I just love the curled up forms that they have. But I'll take a look at my photos and you'll have to join me in the studio to find out. So I'll see you there. Plant growth is governed by the Fibonacci sequence, created by adding one number to the one before it to find the next in the sequence. 
The spiral of the fan shoot follows a sequence, described as the golden ratio, which is the most harmonious and efficient proportion in nature. I could have used this ratio while sketching out my image, but I would rather draw by eye rather than using measurements. This was another of those surprisingly complicated paintings. Once I looked closer, there were so many details to capture, including this hairy texture on the outside of the stem. I approached it in a similar way to the Highland Cow, building up the texture from light to dark shades. I love adding in the first bits of shadow and seeing a three-dimensional image gradually start to appear on the flat page. I mix this colour using various greens and dark brown to get the depth of shadow that I needed. You don't need to use black to achieve this, as it would look too stark and unnatural. off the painting, I added some more light green to the uncurled fronds to really capture their bright fresh colour. I'm using a slightly damp brush to activate the colour without overblending.
All my paintings are available as prints on Etsy, so please do check out my store. The link is in the video description below, as well as my Instagram and Ko-fi pages. Yes, thank you. It smells like wet dog around here. <laughs> 